who, sh who was the first one that Batman took on because he saw so much of himself in that boy. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, I would much rather see, to be honest with you, Dick Grayson take over Batman. But he would never do it, I don't think. Well, I still want to pick up that graphic novel. I think it was, it was like the Elseworld Nightfall story where he, he donned the mantle after you know Bruce Wayne got his back broken. Mm-hmm. So. But anyway, I was gonna say. Uh, I mean, he. I mean, Nightwing serves him as a mentor to uh, Robin, to, uh, Tim Drake, mm -hmm. so. which is another cool aspect of it. Yeah, like a former Robin, yeah. you know, sharing his stories and insight. Yeah, and uh, I like that dynamic between him and Batman. It's kind of like iffy. Sometimes they're ally allies. Sometimes they're at each other's. You know, on each other's cases. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Also, another character I like, Alfred. I uh, obviously who. Who doesn't? I mean, Alfred is just I mean, he's such just a, the man. He can, yeah. He's such a major part of the Crucial. whole of the whole thing. Yeah. And he's kind of like behind the scenes, but I think people do understand I how mean, important he is. He's the he medic. Is. He's the mechanic. You know, he's, he's the father figure. The father figure, the confidant. He's the housekeeper. Yeah. You know, the provider. He really is. He takes care of everything that's like, not crime fighting. I think, uh, like Bruce, he would probably die to protect him, to protect him, like you know his secret. Oh, of course he would. Yeah, I mean, like, you, like Bruce will, you know, will die, you know, to save the world. You know? Yeah, I mean, Alfred understands what an important man he is and what yeah. important work he does, and he would pr probably do anything to protect. But he understands it. that, like, you know, Bruce has a problem, but like through like sarcasm, he, like or humor. Well, or I mean, he might. It's so complicated, you know. Yeah. Alfred tries to keep the Bruce Wayne alive. Yeah. You know. Because Batman is the primary... But he allows primary. Batman out because yeah. that's his vent. Yeah. And Batman does do good. Yeah. You know, so... Well, I mean, Alfred has to, you know, channel all that, you know. He's, yeah, he's got to be at the mediator. Otherwise, Batman that. would just, would have gone off the deep end years ago. I think so. But now I think, I don't know, I think his friends keep him in check, too. Like the Justice League. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean his allies and family and all that. And now, yeah, the bad, quote-unquote, bad family. I don't think anybody uses that term anymore. Well, it is though. I mean, I mean that's what it is. I know. I'm, the just, I, I, I'm just saying. Like I, I mean, I mean over the year, over the years, I have haven't heard people use that term. Oh, the the Bat family is what? It's the Robins. It's Nightwing. It's Barbara Gordon and the Batgirls. It's Batwoman and and Catwoman's part and of Catwoman's it. part of it too. Even though he's she's one of his villains. On and off, yeah. But um, actually, that's a pretty good segue to go into. The well, I want to talk. I want to talk about a uh, Batgirl. I mean, not Barbara Gordon, but Cassandra Cain. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, uh, again, over the years, like you know, I mean, I mean, when she started out, she was like a mute who was like trained by one of Bruce Wayne's uh, uh, trainers. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, a mute who couldn't speak, you know, who expressed herself through violence. Right. But then later on, in the comics, she was able to spe speak. So. Mm -hmm. Which I want, I want to read the the first graphic novel of uh, Silent Running. I want to pick that up. Yeah, it's nice. I to mean, see it started. It started. It interest. It started to interest me. At first, I wasn't getting like, "Whoa, what is this Batgirl? She looks nothing like the Barbara Gordon." Mm -hmm. It's. It was nice to see yeah. it different. But I want to, you know, know more about that character. So. Mm. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Uh, other characters, I guess. The uh, other support characters. Um. Well, I meant by characters, we can go either he heroes or villains. So. Oh, there's every character. Yeah. I gotta say every character. <laughs> From Jim Gordon to Joker, I love them all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Each one is unique. I know, but we have to get down to, like... You know, well, I can't, I can't <laughs> pick out. I'd talk about every character all day if I could. <laughs> yeah. um, quick rundown list. Um, Harvey Dent slash Two-Face. Uh, obviously the Joker. Catwoman. Uh, Harlequin. The Harlequin dynamic. Uh... Yeah, every every villain in the core, the core villains, not the new shit they're making up now with the black glove and stuff. Not them. Yeah. I'm talking about the real Rogues Gallery, the original Rogues Gallery. Yeah. I appreciate them a lot. They really inspired every other comic book villain. They did. Yeah. They pretty much showed other people how to make a comic book hero and then have a set of have villains. villains. Interesting that villains that are that are sort of you know tied to the hero. Well, not tied to the hero. Yeah. But, you know, psychologically. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and they were the first to take those psychological steps as well. Yeah. Really, it's awesome. Well, thanks well, to Denny O'Neill yeah. for you know for bringing back to the forefront after the comics went through, went through a ton of shit and the campy TV show and all that. 
Resurrects. Yep, and then he really resurrected them and made them relevant again. And made them what we know today. Mm -hmm. so. And everyone took cue off of it. Obviously, yeah. I mean, like, everyone really, you know, they, that's Everybody what, draws inspiration it, from that. It brought, yeah, well, Batman always inspires other people, yeah. like, comic book-wise. And it really brought, actually, that dark hero of the 90s runs. Yeah. It re Like, Batman it from the 80s inspired all that in the 90s. Yeah. And yeah. then Batman outlived all the other ones. Obviously. Who fell away. And he continues to interest people. Because I mean, he was the first, and he will always be. Yeah. 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 I really can't imagine, like, a Batman comic without Bruce Wayne. I can't. Yeah, I know. I can't imagine it. Like, there is no Batman. There is no other. There's no. only one. Just there like is. Superman, Wonder Woman. It's how do you... Well, just, just the three main characters of the DC Universe. It's just how do you replace them? You can't. You don't. I know. You absolutely don't. Anyway, uh, we should talk about, like, the stories. I mean, the stories throughout the entire... I mean, throughout the years. I mean, you want to start with... Uh, well, I didn't put it on my list, but I just wish you know what the Killing Joke. You want to talk about that? All right, um, Killing Joke, uh, Alan Moore, yeah. uh, and Brian Bowen. Brian Bowen, uh, a suggested origin for the Joker, as well as a present day Batman story. Well, present day is in the eighties. Well, and this is the and this is when uh, you know Joker you know shot Barbara and then yeah, and major events. Major event that happened. he shot and possibly raped Barbara Gordon. Yeah. Uh, and kidnapped Jim Gordon. Stripped him naked, put him through, like, a roller coaster of, of hell, basically. Yeah, pretty much trying to prove that... Trying to break him psychologically. Trying to prove that in one day, one bad day, can turn a person insane, which is what Joker's origin was. Which, uh, I just want to talk about, you know, I don't like that, that the Joker could have been a good man. I don't, I don't like that. What do you... Prefer? I liked it that he was, like, sinister, or, like... A bad seed, you know, from the beginning, like Michael Myers, you know, that there was always this evil within. Mm. So, I, you know, I'd rather not know what his origin was, to be honest with you. Yeah. But you know what? It didn't say it was his definite origin. Well, no, the, because it said they, that it changes every time. Choice. Yeah. That he changes it all the time. Yeah. He doesn't even know what it he is doesn't anymore. know because because he's a freaking nut. Yeah. But um, no, I mean, I I like that version. It was a cool version, a great yeah. story. Except the end when Batman it was, it was, laughed. Yeah, that was stupid. When he told a joke. I mean, it was kind of poignant, but it was just uh, too far of a stretch I mean, character, as a character as a character, it's fine when he chuckles, but to blow out laughing... That's... Well, you see, it was supposed to be like the poignant end between the Joker and Batman. No, that's... Like, that that's... thing will never end. I no, mean, no, I'm... like, they almost connected for a second, you know? They I don't almost, think I don't They think almost understood happen. each other. Well, I mean, you just don't like the whole premise. Just admit you don't like the killing joke. I like... Well, I mean, I liked some of the stuff that happened. Like, again, the crucial part of, you know, Barbara being shot and all that. I mean, that, I mean, that was, I mean, the main... I mean, a crucial part of the universe. Mm -hmm. I thought... It, I really liked the story. I did. But, I mean, I'm not sure if it should have been... I mean, it has flaws. I'm not sure it should have been part of canon. No, isn't it? Oh, it is? Oh, never yeah, mind. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But um, it could have been a nice one. It, I, I consider it a nice one shot, and maybe one of the better stories written about Batman. I mean, I know you kind of don't like it for the most yeah, part. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But I kind of, I kind of like it for the most part. So I mean, agree to disagree on that one. Yeah. I mean, I like Alan Moore so much that he, you know he could do no wrong. Plus, I mean, it was was really great art. Yeah. And it yeah, was. Yeah. Was. Um. I mean, yeah, it was a really great story. I mean, that's just part of Batman history. That's just a famous image, you know, of Joker holding the camera and the balloon smile on it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a really great story. It just, I don't know if it fits in the mainstream Batman. Yeah, I, yeah, on that we can agree. Mm -hmm. uh, no Man's Land? Go ahead. Well I, well, I know some of it. Like, you know, an earthquake was caused, and I read, um, was it last night I read in the guide, it said uh, it was caused by terrorists or something. I'm not sure the exact origin of it, well, but I did I did read most of the series. There well, was all I, sorts I, of. Well, I had the issue that had the holographic Alex Ross image. So. Yeah, any good? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of confused by the thing to be honest with you. Because, what thing? Because Gordon had a peg leg in that. For some reason. He did. Yeah. I don't remember. There was like that. a scene where they were on top of the building. They were gonna call uh, some teenager or something wanted to call Batman with the signal and. And Gordon, like, stuck his peg leg through it. 
I didn't know he had a payday.